Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to part 15 of the Mass Effect playthrough, and we've got a main mission from the Elusive Man, so we're gonna just do that for this video. If you like the videos, please like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and let's just get this going. Okay. Let's see if my mic picks up the game audio. If it does, I'll have to turn it down. Shepard, we got a break. Oh. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector's ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. Uh-huh, okay, buddy. ...in and out before the Turians learn the truth. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Okay, so this mission, as I recall, you get a upgraded weapon. Um. Hmm. I kind of like both of these. So I think I'll upgrade this and this. Uh, let's switch actually to the collector particle beam. These are good, these are good. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Um, by the way, if, if, if this mission goes pretty quickly, I'll probably stream Koromon after this. I don't, I don't think this mission is actually that long. I think it's like 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah, I'll probably switch to Coromon after this, if, if I finish relatively early. I gotta finish that demo, so I can play randos, randomizer on it. And next week, uh, Spoon and I talked about Scarlet Nexus schedule. Okay, I'm not going to be using this gun for the most part. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scan. Do that. So detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking and then I'm probably also going to need a sh my shotgun souped up to deal with armor. I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The and then I talked to Spoon about this too. I'm, I'm not going to play Mass Effect 3 uh, right now. I'm going to I'm going to delay that after Scarlet Nexus. I'm just going to delay it because I'm I'm not going to have time. This looks bad. Yum. Look at that. Bodies just left here. They're just things to the collectors. They could have been used for testing. If they 
were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. There are worse things than death. Like being a test subject for twisted aliens. So they got screwed on both fronts. Great. Why am I using the two worst allies? Because I actually have their, um... I, I actually have done their loyalty missions, so they, they have their special powers available to them. That's why I'm doing it. Reminder, Andromeda used this exact setup and this exact, like, surprise for, for their aliens. Reapers didn't wipe out the they used the exact aliens. same thing. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. They're not doing to us what they did to the Protheans. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. It's, it's just okay. These games are just better. Uh, yeah, we're we're taking the widow here. The the widow is just just better. On the ceiling, more pods. There must be hundreds of them. How many do you think are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Can you? Okay. There you go. There's pretty much nothing here until we get to the end of this, this first part. There's no enemies. running into the cover. Of course it's a of course it's a trap. Of course it's a trap. Why would it be this simple? Everyone's all right, Joker. What just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. Oh. Oh God, freaking light. We need a little help here, Edie. I am having trouble maintaining connection. There's someone else in the system. Connection reestablished. I need to finish the download 
They just like systems. immediately push me Better out of cover. Maybe if I go team. like here. We've got company. Shoot this guy. Eyes ahead. <laughs> Jacob just immediately out. Very cool. Okay, that actually doesn't hit me good. God. This is very difficult right now. And part of it is just because my, my teammates just immediately die. The other part of it is just, if Harbor, Harbinger is just allowed to sit in front of me, I can't do anything. There. Yep, see, there he is. Gotta try and bring him down as quickly as possible. Normally I'd, like, let him go, because he's not, like, that big of a deal, but if he's allowed to stand in front of me, I can't do anything. There we go. How am I missing? There's an invisible wall there. I'm hitting an invisible wall. Yeah, of course he got taken over by Harbinger. The one guy I actually was about to kill. that Friendly Okay I'm 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 now out of meta gel Alright, this last guy should be easy. There we go. Shepard, you must manually reestablish my link okay. to the command console. <laughs> we got it. Took a few tries. Yeah, first try. First try. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. Good work. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? 
I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. It seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. You're right. It's too much, even for Cerberus. There's got to be an explanation. Uh, Commander, we got another The explanation problem. is he's an the asshole. The is powering there. up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Metagel, two. Incoming. Something's gonna hurt me now. Wow, it still knocked me back. I even waited. Right over the shoulder. That's a problem. There we go. There you are. Nothing's gonna hurt me now. You cannot resist. I know. 
Come on, come back. Oh, no. I need to hit him. There we go. Oh, crap. Yeah, Jacob says throwing up a barrier a lot. He's got to go over to this door. gonna get knocked out of cover. Got him. Enemies in front. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the hard part about this is if I if I pop out a cover for even half a second, my shields are gone. They're just gone. Out of cover. Thank you. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I will. This is it. 
Lost my monitor for a second. Oh, here he is again. Now let's finish you off. A lot of ammo for that. Just use the particle beam. Finally. Alright, at this point I think there's a bunch of husks. Yep, there they are. More important just to take out their armor, because they die to any biotic. So at this point we just we just sort of pull it. Nice oh, it's dead. I am out of ammo for everything. Look at that, there's more. Okay. Okay, I hope that's everything because I don't have ammo. No ammo. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. If there's nothing else, this is the end. That's the ship. That was close. That was close. You heard the man. Everybody on to the Normandy. Move! Okay, so try, by the way, um, I'm going to take like a little break after this, and I might come back though and, and stream in like probably 10 or 15, maybe 15 minutes, because the mission's done right now. That was the end of the mission, so I think we're good. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. 
The Collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to yeah, talk so this about. mission actually doesn't have a time course, limit, so you can do like literally anything you want, and then you do this mission. So like you, I'm just gonna, before this next like Reaper derelict Reaper mission, I'm just gonna do everything so I need to do. The man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. That's gonna do it. Thanks everybody who watched. And thanks everybody for watching this video. Next time we'll talk to some of the crew members that I just recently recruited. And then we're just going to go strictly do character missions at this point. Uh, the Derelict Reaper is the last thing I want to do beyond character missions. So if you like the video, please like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.